Good morning. I'm, I'm I, I know I'm on the line with you. Know you, on the, I know you know where I'm you're at. on the line with me. This is not one of y'all estrogen powwows. Oh, none of that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus now, Christ. What, what I say was no, wrong. Tell me. But, um, you ain't saying nothing wrong. So, see? That's what you make an assumption. Mm. You see what I'm so saying? I'm toxic, is what you're saying. Man, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You ready to kill people because they hurt. It's, you want the people wrong. to die. It's because he's really not a morning person, but he's doing this for y'all. So y'all should definitely hit the cash app because he is not, he's not a morning person. <laughs> I'm mad at everybody. <laughs> I ain't get my latte. Right. Screw Sharan. <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't hit the cash <laughs> up. And he Sherelle, still you did hit the cash. Let me tell you something. I love Sherelle because Sherelle, she paid like she weighs. She just get the money up. She know what it is. Ain't nobody explaining right. nothing on her end. All right. Now, can I talk to Sherelle now? Go can ahead, you go back go to your phone? Go and girl. your mic is off. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sherelle, tell me, tell me the business. Tell me the real right now. What's going on? Okay. So, look. When I was 22, I was, work I was a forklift driver working at a warehouse, right? right? Now, so I'm unloading the trucks, and the truck driver's like, you young? You that young? You don't have no kids? You're not married? You need to be driving trucks because you learn how to drive a forklift, like, in two weeks, right? And he's showing me his check, so he, like, go to school for this or whatever. So I'm trying to tell everybody, like, oh, y'all, we should do this. But nobody want to go with me, so I go by myself. Now, at the time, I had a boyfriend, but he was in jail, right? Mm. So it doesn't matter because if you in jail, you ain't with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I went to truck driving school, and, you know, I had all these experiences. I met a bunch of people. I went to Swift, so, you know, it was like a real ghetto hood school. Right. So, when he came home from jail, I guess his sisters and his family were telling him, like, I was around a bunch of dudes, which, I mean, we had 45 people in our class. Five of us was girls. Um, mm. I drive trucks. I don't. What you, I don't work at a nun, like a, a nunnery. It's not going to be a bunch of females. So... When he, when I went to school, like I went to prime for training. I got my license with Swift, but I, they couldn't train. So I went to prime for training and he was ready for me to come home after two weeks. And I'm knowing I'm got to stay out for like four months. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm giving you the option. I'm like, I live life without you because you've been in jail. So you live life without me. And if you feel like life is better with me, then you'll figure that it's something that you could deal with. But in the long run, he couldn't deal with it. You know, the call stop. You know how it is. But eventually, you just got to let it go because you, you want me to come home and make it better with you. But when I was at home, I was barely making $300 a week. Mm. And now I went straight lease with Prime. So Ooh. I'm making close to $2,000 every week because I run hard. And I, I don't want to come home every week. I don't want to come home every month. I'm a three to six month runner. So it's like... Why should I come home and underachieve with you? You should want to be out here with me. And if you don't want to be out here with me, that's fine. But you shouldn't want me to come home and, and not have nothing. So if you want me to come home and not have nothing, then you don't really give a fuck about me. So why should I give a fuck about you? Mm, no. So it's like you feel like he feel like he working on himself to try to be better. So when I, I, I come home on a fluke because I, I lost my license. So I had to go back and get a duplicate. And it's a female. He dealing with a female or whatever. And at first I was in my feelings and I'm like, I let you go to work on yourself and you go get somebody else. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was on my way to California. I gave myself 24 hours to get all my feelings. But it's like driving and then I just see the horizon in California from a girl who ain't never been no far from Louisiana to Texas for Katrina. Mm. And I'm mm. way in California driving trucks, making money doing this. Life changing. That mm. And when I leave California, the I'm going to New York. Changing. And it's like, it's like, <clears throat> why should I give up that for you? So, so what? So, so, so why didn't he just get on the track with you? That's because it's harder for men. Y'all think it's harder for women, but it's harder for men to swallow that pill. Because when we first got into a relationship, I didn't work nowhere. I was in school. So he was essentially mm. the breadwinner. But now I'm telling you that I got a new way and I'm leading the way and you don't like that. So but you ain't you got to drive me. You can drive by yourself. <laughs> Sherelle sound like you wasn't really tripping if he came or not. Sherelle because like because I live my life without you and this is how I feel. You know how people say I could do bad all by myself. I do good by myself. 
as a person by myself, anytime I'm focused on me and I'm not in a relationship or I'm not worried about taking care of somebody else or doing for somebody else, I do 100% good. I make the most money. I make the best decisions for my life. I accomplish all my goals when I'm extremely focused on me. So right. for me to be in your life, it's a plus. I'm a plus in your life. I don't care who you is. Whether I'm your friend that's going to give you good advice or listen to you, I'm the friend that's going to be able to loan you money. If I'm the friend that's going to be able to make sacrifices for you, or I'm the girlfriend that's going to be doing this and this and that, I'm a, I'm a plus to your life. So if I'm adding to your life and you're taking away from mine, that's double taken away from me because you're taking away from me and I'm taking away from myself to add to you. Mm. How is that set of me? Mm. Now, you don't have to care about me because you, you. And you, you got to think about yourself first. But I have to do the same thing. I have to think about me first. So how did I got to love me first because if I don't love me first and I'm waiting on somebody else to love me first, I'm going to be waiting. How, how did you get out of your feelings? What, what did you just stop for 24 hours? You just cried it out? I cried. I cursed. And then I was just like, I'm listening to J. Cole, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I'm listening to J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? He had just dropped KOD. So I'm bumping <laughs> KOD and I'm and I'm driving to California. Mm. And I'm seeing the hills and the mountain. This is my first time being in California. Yeah, that's life changing. Mm -hmm. That's a life changing. So view. why am I taking this moment? If God gave me this moment to be something, like sometimes you don't have to understand, you have to let go of some things to gain something. How how old are you, Sherelle? 26. 26. Young buck. Young buck. I'm 35. So let me let me throw this in. And this is what you did was awesome. What you did, a lot of uh, girls your age. No, nah, I'm sorry, girls. You're a woman. A lot of women your age oh, have um, don't have the strength to do. My only piece of advice is don't let it uh, change your perspective on other people. Because we'll do that as women. We'll, we'll get this empowerment and it will become our rhetoric and see me as a woman I, I hold on to my feminine energy and what I mean by that is uh, I was going through a traumatic horrible situation and then I met TB and, and I'm, I'm awesome Sherelle and what happened was I had I could have been like you know yo TB you know I could have put a wall up and said you know I'm not ready for this but who am I to uh, discern when good people come in in my life. Who am I to say I'm not ready? That's not for me to decide. God decides it. You are ready. Right. I don't give you nothing that you can't handle. And right. so, and I what, know they on your top in your IG because you've been all oh, over yeah. the channel. Oh, absolutely, Sherelle. I know they on your top. <laughs> they on your top, Be Sherelle. Because they because what they do is they'll say, okay, she's a strong woman. She get she, money. She getting money. She by herself and see that's when the snakes come out. You right, that's definitely when the snakes come out. So you definitely gotta have that discernment. You have to have that discernment, but then don't like I said, remember your place, like you know, is that you have a feminine quality that also attracts great men too. Mm. Right. And so what happens and is you, you gotta work ethic on top of that. Exactly. So, that ain't, that ain't so don't think because you went through this that you now have to put this timeline on yourself, like all right, well, I'm gonna just hustle for a year. I ain't worried about dating. No, there might be a good guy. If you connect, that's why I see vibe is not color. But see, and also too, she has up that she's up, she's upped her her stock for real dudes. Exactly. So the quality of what she can pull with unbeknownst to, to her, like it was unbeknownst to me, has went up. Yep. So it's like that type of problem yep. isn't even your caliber no more. You know, so right. you know what dudes would go to drugs. So that's not even so when you talk to a new person, that ain't even a conversation you would have with them because they're so beneath your station at this point. Yeah. And the thing about it is, it's because he would never see me as a boss. Because when you met me, I was somebody you had to take care of. I was a liability to you. So mm -hmm. you can't never see me as a lot of people will meet you where you at and sometimes you meet people at the bottom because it's you easy start. to trauma bind but they won't never be able to see i've been having my llc since i was 23. i can't be a boss i can't be a boss in your eyes i'm a boss when i gotta pay my taxes so it's like <laughs> did you have you to pay your taxes like, <laughs> i don't have no kids man i 1099 i gotta pay taxes so it's like I can't be a boss in your eyes, but like, let's say I meet a man now, 
he's going to meet me where I'm at now. You see what I'm saying? So I won't have to deal with the same problems I had to deal with in the past from somebody who knew me. Because a lot of people like to say they know you because they knew you in high school. And that was 10 years ago. You don't know me. You knew me. You knew who I was. And anybody going to grow and evolve and change, whether it's for the better or for the worse. But if you can't, you can't separate who I used to be and who I am now, you don't need to be in my life. Because mm. I don't want you to respect me at the level of just a nine to five worker. I want you to respect me as the CEO of my company because it's, it's levels to it. And it is, it's, it's a difference. And I climbed and I made the, I made the sacrifices I had to make because I do this by myself. I've been a solo driver since I started. So these mountain and these hills and all of this, I'm doing this by myself. So you chain man. Man, bro, that's why I need a man. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> but I'm chaining. Oh, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm no, 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 no. Oh, Sherelle. You I'm just told me, Sherelle. Sherelle, you just told me you was a boss. You do but, I mean, look, but I've been doing it for three years, so I'm not pressed on. I'm not going to just get it. I could get a man to chain for me. Sherelle, I understand that. I want you to understand the words, though. Right, right. The more money you make and the more bossy you are, the less attractive you are to men. Yeah. Really? Yes. Absolutely. Let me tell you something. It's just, now listen, for especially for less evolved men. Because me... If you make more than me, I'm not gonna be less attractive to you. That's just me. I don't. I don't have that problem because I look at. I look at it as the way things are now. Some people make more. Some people don't. It could just be the industry. It's not even a man and woman thing. But to the to the run of the mill person, and that is pretty much what we run into in life. That is very unattractive. They don't want you to be. You leveling up is not something they're looking for. They're not looking for that. Now. Does that mean that you're not going to run into somebody who is just like, you know, like me? If you make that, it wouldn't affect me at all because I'm I'm secure in what I do. So you have to somehow pander to the rhetoric of, I do okay. You see what I'm saying? Like when you're talking to somebody, you're just like, yeah, I do all right. Hmm. The, the, right. How, how good you doing is not the basis of your conversation when you're going to start courting. Because that is going to then it puts it into okay well how good am i doing when that ain't even the conversation you're just trying to figure out if i want to chill with this dude how i'm doing is irrelevant yeah right you don't even want to even get into that pissing match just be like do i like you around is it healthy is it this and that and leave it and leave it at that because once i once a male hears the boss word it's over and you being a CEO is one position. You have met many layers to yourself. So when you're looking to love someone, that's a vulnerability state. So you can't come in it competitively. You can't come into it with the veneer like, and you, I'm ready to do with you. And she may not even be trying to, but what I'm saying is, is how they're going to register the word. You ain't even trying to be competitive. You just saying whatever. And they're going to be like, hold on. And they're going to take it that way. So number one, when they try to when they try to go into that that uh that arena of talk, you just tell them I don't really talk about business like that. I'm more trying to figure out who you are. Like don't even don't even back me into that corner. Right. Because what women really find out out here is that I'm a, this gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, I mean I, th my advice, Sherelle. This is going light. to get me in trouble. Y'all drive better than the dudes do. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Y'all hold y'all drive shifts better. Y'all handle your money better? You just do. I, I hate that some people have got on the truck with their significant other and realized they don't have a good work ethic. I'm one of them. <laughs> nah. I am. You I'm, see how you do. I, I mean, it's, I, I, it's the truth. That, that's that's exactly what happened. That was a huge thing. It is not, and I, I don't identify myself as a boss or nothing like that. I just think I'm a, just, I'm a cool person. Uh, me being a boss is an action. So I don't, I don't tell, I don't have to say that to people. I don't say, Hey, you know, I'm a boss. Or I'm a CEO. That's my actions. You see how I move. You see that you can't really necessarily get in contact with me. You see that I'm busy. So those are the actions of usually people that are handling business. Handling business. So right. that right. it's like the people I'm just saying like the people that used to know you, they just won't never see you at that level. Right. Only they see won't you for what they know you as cut them all off, cut them off. 
I I have dude, I have eight brothers, bro, and thirty seven cousins. And two people call me from my family. I got four, I got seventeen brothers and sisters. I can say I talked to one sister and one brother. Well, your daddy was friendly. My boy. daddy got 14 <laughs> kids. Mm. But 14? look, my daddy raised me by himself. I was raised by a single man. So, like, all my so life since I was you. born, it was just me and my dad. My dad raised all his kids. We just all some different ages, really different ages. So, so wait, so were you by yourself? Like, it was just you and your father? Or you? No, your it's um me and my brother. We had the same mom. Uh, which is not common for my dad because he had 12 baby mamas. So, but we did have the same mom. So we were close in age, two years apart, and we was raised together. And which is crazy because in my adult life, anytime I fell, that brother has been my rock. That brother has been the person to help me up or do something for me when I need it. And it's like, since I've been driving trucks, he's never asked me for anything. He's never made me feel like I owe him anything. So it's like, it may just be one brother that I have that I know is genuinely going to love me, but... What about the other one? I'm not really just... I'm just really not that close to them because they're so older than me. Oh, oh, oh so it's the mm. age gap. Yeah, like, I'm 26. Okay, the day I made 26, the next day my oldest sister made 51. Ooh, your dad career Ooh. in the pimp game is long. Yes, wow. he went from... He went 25. Five years, and I think he had a child at every year. Jeez, so it's you know what I'm saying. Geez. It's a gap. They have kids my age, so it's not like you know what I'm saying. They look so at me as a just, kid, right? They are not yeah. laying up tall. Okay, so you'll probably be closer to what is that? Your ne nieces and nephews? nephews? Yeah, because like my nephew is 34, so they don't even want to really <laughs> be my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know, Hold I'm on, 26. Pop, 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 pop. And how is your nephew older than you? Yo, and he has, he, like six kids. he has like seven kids. I have like, I'm 26. I have like 15 great nieces and nephews. Yeah, that makes sense. If her, if her siblings nuts. are up in the 50s and when they had kids and then they're having Your uncle kids, younger than you. Yeah. I had to take my uncle to school the other night. <laughs> <laughs> but Yo, really, he, he used to tell people, man, that's not my auntie. That's my cousin. How she my auntie? She a kid. She, a, she is a little girl. How she going to be my auntie? Yeah, it is what it is. I'd have told, look, respect the pecking order, young brother. Yeah, okay. right. Don't make me have to whoop you. Exactly. Okay. They didn't give okay. me the title for a reason. Yeah, now. go in there and wash the dishes. <laughs> don't, be, don't be mad at me. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, I, what I will say about you, Sherelle, is that you're incredibly well-rounded for your age. Facts. And if I was a um, 26-year-old Thundercat, I, your, your, your mind state, I would be attracted to that mind state. I would be like, okay, well, she's doing what she's supposed to do. Everything's cool. Better than someone who's just what I didn't like about the women I when I because I went into trucking at 26. What I didn't like was that their eagerness to jump onto somebody else's truck. And they would and they would the, the least guys right. would come through and snatch the young young Sacagawea meat right out of the school and postpone their career for a year because you're on the truck with this dude. You're 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 basically second seat. You don't know if he's paying you all the money. And then if he gets mad at you, he has a choice to leave you anywhere in the country. It's like, I always told people, right. go they to had, yourself a little bit. They had so many girls from school. I guess they were scared to drive by themselves. And they just kept hopping on the trucks from boys to boys. Now, I'm used to being with dudes. I was raised by a man. And it was like the majority of people my age in my family or boys. My auntie has six sons and it's my brothers. And then it's like their friends. So any group I was in always was gonna be at least eight to ten boys. So I'm used to being around I'm used to being able to be one of the guys. So, you know, I'm they telling me like, you know, once once we smash, we're gonna get off the truck and the next person gonna get on the truck. And she went to like three to four trucks. And then she, at the at the end of the year, she couldn't even drive by herself. She still didn't feel comfortable. She wound up just not driving no more. Dang. So when people would come at me to like, oh, yeah, we might as well team drive. I used to be like, you going to give me your whole check or something? Your money is my money. Like, I don't understand. I'm going to make more money. With you. I didn't understand that if I was going to make more money with you. Because you I know. can understand that we team driving. But if you don't want to drive, because I drive my 11-hour clock down. You know, it's a lot of times I may almost go into violation. 
So the majority of boys I knew they were stopping at the, after seven, six hours. Like Phil, it's not gonna Phil. it's not gonna work out for me if you don't have the same driving ethic as me. And then it's like the <laughs> ones with the kids, they want to get on the truck with me. Or want me to get on a <laughs> truck with them. And I'm like, you gotta go home and see your children every week. I'm not going home every week for nobody. So how do you match with me? You telling me I'm gonna make more money team driving with you going home every week to see your kids than I am staying out three to four months by myself. Ooh, you don't Driving heard how me. I want to. That conversation um... went terribly for that dude. <laughs> well, it's mean, like, it's, it's, it is, it's crazy because my, my I have a truck driver friend who, who, who wanted to deal with me, but I don't deal with him because he has children. And it's not that he has children, it's that he has three kids under the age of three with three different moms. And I just think that's irresponsible. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. If it's need too much time. Listen, Sherelle. Mike Sherelle, Will about, made man, it. Man, they about to come at Sherelle. <laughs> look, 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 at, look at just Phil. I would love to get money with Sherelle. <laughs> we got Sherelle on the track. Mike Will, sit your tail down somewhere else. <laughs> listen. Listen, don't come in here mad at Sherelle because she's speaking figgity facts, dude. It is but it is because that's three different households your money have to come in. And it's like, I'm a woman, so I do I do know a man's role because I was raised by a man. Now, my daddy was my mama and my daddy, so he it wasn't just like, oh, men cooking, men, men do work. And you know, my daddy built stuff. He was a builder. He built bridges and the Superdome and all of this, so... Dang. Like my dad is a construction worker, so I used to seeing a man dirty. So a lot of times I used to be attracted to men who had dirty jobs, construction workers, <laughs> people who fix all cars, and and um if you that's that's who I'd be attracted to, like people who like mechanics and they they smell like Earl. Because I know you was working, you know. <laughs> that's, that's, that was my idea of a man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, those dudes my have daddy. the thing is those dudes have very stable good jobs. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad yeah. type. Because I'd be like, because mm. I mean, if I look at the drug dealer, I know he's going to be on, but I know he's going to go to jail. Facts. Yep. Right? So, you know what I'm saying? I know this man that don't have no, that don't go to jail. He have a regular job. Like, right. people, with, people, with, people with good jobs and good benefits, they don't really live these little crazy lifestyles like that. They really don't. They got to go to work. That's why I be telling them, that's the cheat code to finding a good man. You just got to date lame people. I mean, they lame to society, <laughs> but they good. Like, the, the men no. who like to play go to work and they come home and play video games and, and anime and all of that, <laughs> they don't really want to be in the streets dealing with 10, 15 females, getting 10, 15 females pregnant at the same time. Listen, listen. First of all, let, let's, let's stop right there. <laughs> she said the cheat code is to deal with lame people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, but I'm listen. lame. I'm lame, so I don't mean that to offend nobody, but I'm No, lame. no. I get it, but when, 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 you, when, you, when the type of people you were talking to that was the proper thing to say because that's how they look at it yeah but in the actual society you know these are actually like you they're they're decent people paying their taxes doing what they're supposed to do but if you go home and talk to your people on the block that's how they view it oh yeah. they're lame no they're actually winning they're going to be getting this much money for 40 years yeah 40 years you may get some good dope money for four yeah like that's a that's a that's a that's a totally different situation, and usually you don't really find people from urban areas like we're from that put that together. Maybe you got that because you were with your father, and your father was like A B C D E F G. Yeah. And a lot of people are raised with their mothers by themselves. Yeah. Right. And, and which is crazy because it's like I seen them getting their money, but I know fast money go fast too. It is not just a lifestyle because most people that sell drugs have to use them. Because if you're going to be up flighting for the next 48 hours, you're going to have to be on some type of pill or something to keep you woke. And then after them pills, mm. you know, your, your body going to build a, a, a immune system to it. Mm. So you can get high off two perks and now you can pop 10 perks. And the next year, you're going to be on heroin. You see what I'm saying? And that's just kind of mm. how... But that's just what we... That's what they do in New Orleans. The, the, you know what I'm saying? The people like that, they be on yeah. H. Right. Now who wants in to New deal Orleans. with that? Mm, listen, Shira, you because I always problems, say another thing man. is that if you get married, other people's burdens become your burden. So it's all cool <laughs> for you to date a man who think it's okay to have six and seven baby mamas, but 
if y'all get married, you're going to have to pay them child support papers too. Y'all oh. credit become one. And Ooh. it's like, you have to pay attention to that because loving the wrong person can screw up your life. Man, y'all, listen. Mm. Sherelle, first of all, when the channel drop? Right. Channel? I can't okay. do this. Channel. Why don't, you, why don't you just come over and be uh co hosting <laughs> me and we're gonna be educating the people and letting them know like that, that's just where it's you at least like. gonna co host with a uh, way too fly either that or you need, you need to work on the channel yeah, it, it got just, to happen. just come hit me up we're gonna get your channel or we can co-host and then we can just like educate the people one 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 lame at a time right because it's okay to be lame you know <laughs> you don't have to be cool. <laughs> Y'all know how lame I, I'm. I'm this lame. I never smoked weed. Never even tried to. I never took like. I went to the dentist and had surgery, and they gave me a Percocet. I took. When I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna sitting around people that take 10, 11 Percocets. I took one Percocet ten, and I lost my mind. <laughs> no, I, I could not breathe. Oh I could not see. I mean, they, I literally went back to the hospital thinking something was wrong with me, and all they could do was give me a drug that was lower. Like, they was just like, that was right. just too high of a drug for you. Yeah, like, you just were not ready for it. <laughs> yeah. <Yo, laughs> uh, and I'm to... telling you, I slept for three days straight. I'm like, how do people take this to stay woke? To stay not to you out. Shout out to Dirty Bro Two One Five. The lames are the cats doing dumb, sh doing dumb stuff. Yo, I took that's the type of um, right. wave I'm on. See? You have to switch it. The dudes, the right. people that say are they lame? Those are the corny lame people. Yeah, those are corny. If you're doing stuff that is detrimental to the community, to yourself, to your health, to your that's wealth, really lame. You're the lame. You're the lame. You're the cornball. You're the coon. And that's been my way for a long time. Like I don't let nobody that I know I wouldn't take advice from criticize me. Oh no, you wait. What, right. What do you? Because it's like about? I'm not. Don't you rob people? What? Right. <laughs> like, aren't you tempting with your uh, freedom right now? Like, I met a I'm prostitute and she asked me, "Why are you out there working?" Why you driving? Because you working yourself too You could be making real money. Doing what? Doing oh, what, ma'am? <laughs> listen, sometimes you got to put the soggy bean juice on the plate. Look, like they want the you. Meal. Listen, they want you to come. Uh, yeah. So you can see how they live. And, do, and, and this is another thing for the ladies that's listening. Women get pregnant on dudes, but dudes plot to get you pregnant. And Sherelle, mm -hmm. let me move out the way so they can see Sherelle. Yeah. Sherelle right there is a prime candidate for a dude <laughs> to try to get her knocked up from her neighborhood to stop her from doing that. Prime yeah. candidate. Yeah. Alex Tenzo burning mouth. That's a fact. You better be. <laughs> so I hope that you are providing the condom. Don't take one of them condoms out of your wallet. Don't do it. I have the best. I have the best birth control known to man. Okay. What is that? Okay. Celibacy. 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 No way I'm getting pregnant. Okay. Hold on, hold on. No now way. when I said it, hold on, hold on. Let's stop. Now when I said it, they said I was wrong. I know, right? Ain't it? Wrong? Stop. But you know what? You know what's beautiful about what you do, babe? What? You attract real people, people that understand. See, we pushing all these negative hater bullpen people out the door. See, we ain't doing that no more. See what happens when you keep steady on the word. You keep preaching that good word from the greatest book of all time. Listen, all I'm telling y'all is this: if you haven't found that person that you think is worth it, keep your soggy bean juice in a jar. Absolutely. And see that, and that's why when when they were when they pressed me about it, they was like, "Well, you out here telling dudes wrong. You telling them not to have sex with women. That's that is a surface thought. Yep. What I'm telling you is to get your energy together from all the women you were messing with. Stop. Yep. Get your personal energy together so you can receive the person that is being sent to you that you really want. Yep. Stop going through traumatic. and that's yes. and that's what I told my friend. I said the next woman you have a child with, you need to just make sure you'll marry her because I know you you won't just marry anybody, but you seemingly will have a kid with anybody because this is the thing. He's getting these girls pregnant, and before they can have, they can give birth. To the baby, he's on child support. The child ain't getting his last name. He can't come up there to see the baby. And I'm like, you can't see they trapping you. They don't want to be with no. you. They just know you drive trucks. And he went. Right. He was. He had a brother in the NFL. You see what I'm saying? Which is why all the reason why he thought I would be with him is because he got the NFL brother. 
they coming straight out of truck driving school and getting their own authority and a couple of trucks and, and all of this. So mm-hmm. you boasting with that boss stuff, but you ain't going to attract no real woman just off, I got money. You're going to attract the girls that you attract and the ones that want to have your baby and mm-hmm. they don't want to do nothing because you're a boss. <laughs> now they're going to mm-hmm. sit home and collect your money. They mm-hmm. out there, dumb mm-hmm. women out there. Listen, mm-hmm. Sherelle, uh, my old lady's gonna be going live here in a minute. I appreciate yeah. you for calling in. Uh, you, you you done blew all the dudes up in my in my live. Um, you done you done. I I I think you're a refreshing young people. Between you, what's that dude? Uh, uh, uh something Jermaine. Oh, Alex, King Jermaine. Alex Tenzo. Mm-hmm. It's some good candidates out there, and I appreciate you for um. What's your IG, uh, Sherelle? It's just Sherelle underscore. Sherelle underscore. underscore. Make sure you put it in the um in the chat so that way uh, people can follow you. As yeah, because well. I'm I'm going. It's gonna take some time, but I'm gonna talk you and start the channel, and I'm gonna keep chipping away at it and chipping away at it. Because I mean, you like ball stuff, right? Right. And you like making mm-hmm. more money. We gonna get you to that bag. Thanks you for calling in, Sherelle. All right. Thank, thank y'all. y'all. Don't do drugs. Listen, King the Trucker, you got to let my paying people come in here first because you get in here try to hog the chat. You got to let my paying people come in here first. Give me a, give me a second. Look, he, he want to jump in so bad about that baby mama thing. It's okay. Give it a second. Let my paying people get in here first. Listen. Sherelle blew the chat up today. She, she really did. And that's a, to me, that lets me know for a fact that what you're doing is amazing. And what you put out there, you know, is so monumental, you know, because.